Hi, well, welcome to my formula tutorials. Last time we looked at all the components. Now we are going to look at the formula type little detail today. Also, we'll create a sample formula. Okay, we seen that formula type is a, a category or a group of formula. And formula type also determines where it's supposed to be used. Or uh, in a field that select a formula from a particular formula type. And the contexts are defined along with the formula and the formula is created. So we, when we know the formula type, we also know what are the possible contexts can be passed from formula. We also know from the document what are the input variables comes from a formula type from a particular column? Okay, I'm telling when it comes to input variable, if a formula type used in a different places or a different fields, there's a possibility the input variable may differ. We'll see that in detail when we see the different formula types. Okay, and return value. Return value is always same, same like the similar formula types, except like, you know, expect the same variable names, or sometimes may not accept the variable, may not expect the variable name. Sometimes it expect the values in a particular format, especially when it comes to date. Okay, this is a kind of a sample screen, how you are going to create a formula. When you create a formula, this is where you choose your formula type. You have to select a formula type for creating a formula, okay? And this is a kind of a sample formula types, which I have taken from a compensation. Compensation has many formula types, but this is a kind of sample, like, you know, compensation has got a compensation currency selection. Whenever you select a currency, the currency selection allows the formula, this is a type that uses. Default override, when you define a, like, you know, your value column, you can override that value by using a default. This is hierarchy determination. Person selection is used. The person selection is used in two places. One is in compensation process. Other one is actually in three, three places, I believe. One is in a compensation process. Other one is the total compensation uh, statement process. Other one is, uh, Grade and ladder, GSP, grade step ladder. That is that is also in the process also the person selection is used, okay? And the other one is called total compensation item, which is basically value for the compensation items. Okay, that is the sample of uh, formula types. Uh, like you know, there are too many formula types. We'll look at that everyone in detail later. And this is where, like, you know, if you see that the previous screen, that is where you create a formula. And when you are coming here, this is where you use the formula. This is that compensation uh, uh, person selection, like, you know, person selection formula, like, you know, this supports person selection formula here. Okay. Okay, the top one says what is the formula, the, 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 the down screen says where you get, where you select it. Okay, now we'll see that, what are the context basically, like how the context is, is a kind of a example. For a compensation person selection, these are the context basically like, you know, support set. Date and which is at effective date. I don't know where it's coming twice, I don't know. The effective date basically, start date, end date, External worker record type, HR senior date code, collective agreement ID, grade, grade rate, HR assignment is assignment ID, HR term is a term ID, senior date ID, senior hour ID, job ID, legislative LDG, organization ID, payroll assignment, payroll relationship, payroll term, and the person is a person ID. Okay, these are the things, these are the context supported by the person conversation, person selection. Okay. Now we'll look at that. What are the things like input variables supported? As I said, 
the person selection is used in three places, like uh, compensation process, total compensation process, a great step progression process. So all these places pass the different input values. This one is coming, coming from compensation process. The compensation process supports like plan start date, plan end date, eligible date, extraction date, performance effective date, pro uh, promotion effective date, exchange rate, and the period ID. Okay. Probably they also support the plan ID. Like this is a sample. So we'll see that in detail what other things are getting supported. If you look at my blog, it is already like you know, given in my blog. Okay. Now we'll see today how we can create a formula. Okay. Now oh, I'm selecting that of the quick menu. I'm going to that setup and manage maintenance, sorry, setup and maintenance. And I'm going to search the, for the search, search option. I'm looking for past formula. There are many ways you can get into fast formula. This is one of the common area. That's why I'm searching that formula common area. Sorry, I'm typed wrong formula. I'm taking the second one, fast formulas. Okay, this is the basic fast formula screen to enter the fast formula. Okay, now I choose one type, like you know, the one I know is compensation person selection. There's a, already there's a simple formula created. Okay, now this says it is already combined. Combined. Right, okay. Like if I click here, I either edit here, I'm clicking here to edit that to show you what's the formula. I'll create one more fast formula for you. Okay, it's a very simple fast formula. Uh, set log, okay, this is kind of a debugging, kind of a logging, so ignore this part. And it all says define a variable with a value y, and this is also ignored. Later we'll come to the detail of what it is. And it's just returning the value. All is create a variable, returning the value. Very simple for formula. And you can compile the formula, it works fine. Now, this is the formula type from formulas, person selection. Like you know, we said in the last session, there are two types of formula, either it's return a value or validate something. So this is more like a validating this one. Okay, this formula functionally doesn't make any sense. The reason is anybody, everybody is uh, like, you know, evaluator, it is going to say, yes, the person is eligible. Okay, the person is allowed to select. That's what it says. It is an example formula. It is not like, you know, the real formula which is used. Now I'll create a formula. I'm going out. I create the same formula. Okay, I'm creating a formula. Okay, CMB person selection. Just I'm putting a capital, you can use not necessarily you have to create a capital. Here you are selecting your fast formula type. Okay, this is the type I'm selecting. I'm, I'm selecting the same fast formula. It's compensation person selection. There are many types are there. Fast formula, okay. Now the legislative data group. If you are choosing a legislative data group, then the fast formula basically available for the available for the employees who is in the legislative data group. Most of the payroll fast formula, the legislative data group is mandatory because they are like operated within the legislation, legislative data group LDG. But when you are coming to compensation benefit, they are not necessarily operating within the LDG. So here I'm not choosing it. It's a kind of a global formula. Anybody, everybody, it is, the employees is available. Okay, now I'm choosing the date. It is a good practice to put a old date because sometimes you may end up using a formula for like, you know, the 
past dates. So I usually use one one two thousand and continue your formula. Okay. Now I'm giving the same formula I'm writing without anything. I'm saying why. Now I'm saying return L value. Okay, it is L value equal to Y return L value. That's all. Okay, I'm saving. I'm submitting it. Okay, I am compiling. I'll come to the other options later. I'm just compiling it. Okay. Okay, I'm just closing it. Then I'm refreshing it. It takes like in a few seconds possible okay once it's compiled successfully it will turn into green if it is not compiled successfully it turn into red then you can see that that kind of a message give you which line which is causing the issue Okay. okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm searching it again. And we create a CMB person selection. That's the formula. Now we also see where it can be used. Okay, I, I'll show you where it cannot be used, where it can be used. Now you know what the type means. I'm done. Done. Okay, I'm going to home. Is my client group. I'm choosing common session only. Okay, now I'll go to the area where it can be used. Okay, now I see here. Okay, since it's a person selection, mostly it is used in some kind of a process. Now I'm coming to here. See, this is available. This formula, the person selection formula, this is available. Okay, basically, this particular column supports that person, the type, the compensation person select. Okay, now if I'm coming to the other world, okay, now I'll come to the other area, in the same product area. Creating a one. Just I'm not going to save it. I give a formula. Formula. Okay. Now, if we choose here, from here, see, this is not available. Or uh, like okay, at once so the easy way to say that not equal to plus not equal to x x x x. See here the type is not available at all. The reason is in this particular column a different type a total compensation item value something like that is used. So the type attached to when you select a formula, they always select a formula in a column for a particular type only, the type attached to the column. So that is how they segregate, which formula goes where. That's all for today. Then we will see uh, one more component in next session. Thank you.